Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a GIF still image. Basically it's a GIF with a still image on the side. I'm not doing the crossover, um, I'll probably able to do that in a different uh, tutorial, but this person just wanted, uh, they requested it, they just wanted the GIF and the still image um, concept. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. First thing is, um, you go and grab your video. I have YouTube downloader, so it's very easy. Windows, um, that so. If you have Mac, then you can message me. I could show you how else you can get it. But anyway, and so once you have your video, um, then you need um, an image. I wanted a supernatural theme for this tutorial, so I grabbed this image. And so, um, I was started to work on it, but I had to remake the video, so I'm going to show you real quick. And if you see my aim, people, um, ignore them. Um, you go to File, Import, um, Video Frames, and then you go look for the video that you um, needed. And so... I pick like some scene, you know, when the Impala, and so um, when Dean is beating up the Impala, and so once you like what you want, you could limit the range of frames uh, for every two frames, just because sometimes a small area could be very large in frames, and then you press OK. But since I already got into it, I'm gonna um, exit out of it. All right, and so when you get your um, frames and you know you can delete what you don't want you can um, change the speed of them you know just go uh, select all with this little um, three lines or four lines whatever down arrow select all and then you can um, click what you want I did um, 0 0.08 for mines seemed like it worked fine and so when you play the video um, layer animation it's just him getting, you know, starting to get angry. I wanted something simple. And so, once you do that, it's this one. And then you can just drag it into your video, which one's down there. You, got, you have to go all the way to the top of your layers. And then, you know, first here last here and then you can just drag drop and it might be a little bit too big so delete it uh, for me anyway because this is a, a wallpaper so I have to reduce the size uh, not the GIF the banner wallpaper and I'm going to do it to 500 and so then drag drop and it's around that size um, that I have it I like I said I was messing with it earlier and so um, let's see delete yes um, no, that's not what I meant to be here. Go back. I want to delete it from here, from the PSD. Okay. Yes. Okay. There we go. Sorry. And then you position it to where you want it. And then you do select all frames. And then you go down. Um, this is the layout properties. Um, I guess that's what they call it, but for me, that's what I call it. And you go down to what you think is best for you. Uh, and, you know, there's different looks. It's just like when you have textures, if you have ever done textures, that's basically what it does. And for me, from my experience when I first attempted this video, Lumosity, is what worked for me and then you can always uh, reduce the opacity this way you know you could 
make it you know less visible more visible and I like it around like around 35 that works for me and so when you see the video it looks great um, for me I throw in a PSD um, coloring so that you know it looks better and this is from um, uh, Violet Ends, I love their PSDs and so since the video is very green I thought it was kind of cool um, then you shift and see like around there that's perfect for me and I think it might be a little bit too greenish so again the opacity on these things is amazing it's like my best friend when it comes to editing and then now when you play it bam that's pretty much it I hope you guys have learned with this tutorial and if any questions send it to us message us um, anything like that and I'll make some more tutorials okay bye bye